Hi everyone, welcome to Two Minute Teacher Tech. My name is Adam Howard and today I'm going to tell you about an application called Quizlet. Quizlet began as a flashcard application but has evolved into so much more. It is one of the top education applications being used and I'm going to show you really quickly how to get started using this app in your classroom. So let's go. All right, the first thing we're going to do is go to Quizlet.com and from that page we are going to sign up for a new account. It gives you three options. You can either use Google, Facebook, or an email address to start your account and then it's going to take you to a home page. This home page is going to prompt you to create a new class. Once you tap on the create a new class button, it's going to take you to this page where you're going to give your class a name, a description, type your school in there at the bottom, and then it's going to allow you to either email an invitation to your students or you can copy paste a link onto your LMS or your class website. Once the students click on that link, it's going to prompt them to add this class to their account. All right, now that we've created our class, we're going to add a study set to that class. We're going to go up and hit the Add Set button, and we're going to hit Create New. This is going to take you to your main content creation page. This is where you're going to give it a title, and on the left, it's going to give you a place to add terms, and on the right, a place to add definitions. You can add a picture or a voiceover to each one of the cards, and this is going to be your study set. All right, now that you're familiar with how to create content on Quizlet, what I suggest you do before you make your own study set is you go to the search bar and see if somebody's already made the same set. What you can do is type in your textbook, like I'm doing here, I use Edge Level B in my class, and then you can hit search, and boom, there's an entire list of study sets from my textbook. I can find, oh, let's look here, Edge Level B, Unit 1 Vocabulary, there's the list that I was going to type in, save me a bunch of time. I can click copy, and then I can change the name, I can change the definitions, I can change the terms, I can add or delete, I can add pictures or voiceover, however I wanna do. I hit create, I can hit assign to my class and there we go. Now it's in there and it's ready to use. I can hit share and I can copy paste a link to this particular set into my classroom uh, website or my LMS and there we go. All right and now that you have your study set ready to go and assigned to your class this is how it works. It turns them into flashcards. It makes it turns the definitions and terms into short answer questions and it also has this spelling app which is really cool. It says the word to them and then they have to type it in and spell it correctly. Contribute. Predict. P R E D. Now, if they misspell the word, it corrects their spelling and shows them the correct way to spell it, which is really cool. They click the test icon. It's going to allow them to make a test that they can take themselves to help prepare themselves for the real test, and they can select from various formats and change that around. This is a game that we use in my class. It's a matching game, and we have competitions to see who can do it the quickest, and the kids really enjoy it. They, they, really, they really enjoy the competition there. Um, this is a racing game. You have to type in the word and spell it correctly before the word gets all the way across the screen. If the word does make it across the screen before they get it typed in, it gives them the answer and then prompts them to type in the correct answer. Okay, now we've given you a really brief introduction to the different functions of Quizlet and the popularity of this application speaks for itself. This is an outstanding app for learning academic vocabulary. There's just not a better one out there. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit subscribe below. Each week, Two Minute Teacher Tech will be bringing you new videos of classroom technology and teacher hacks in a very concise and easy to understand way that respects your time budget. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you next week. Thanks.